Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech 5 Production. Since the release of the 7000 series of Ryzen processor, all of them came with integrated graphic. But how many of you actually use the integrated graphic from the processor? Won't it be nice if AMD released one without the integrated graphic and make it more competitively priced? Actually, there is one like that. And here it is. What we have here is the newest AMD Ryzen 5 7500F, the first 7000 series processor from AMD without integrated graphics. And I think AMD made a smart move here by doing it on their Ryzen 5 SKU, which has traditionally been the more popular choice for PC builders looking to get the best bang for their buck. The Ryzen 5 7500F is priced at 799 ringgit, and that is really competitive. It's actually priced closer to the previous 5600 than the current 7600. But for that, did AMD cut down on any of the specs besides the removal of the integrated GPU? Let's have a look then at the specs of the Ryzen 5 7500F. And overall, it's very similar to the current Ryzen 5 7600 with the same 6-core 12-thread layout, along with the same amount of cache memory, same supported RAM speed, and same rated TDP of 65 watt. Only difference here seems to be the clock speed with a 100 megahertz reduction in base and turbo boost clock speed. So for most situations, the performance here shouldn't be too far from the Ryzen 5 7600. And of course, it also comes included with the AMD's Rave Stealth for the stock cooler. So then, the biggest difference is not from the specs, but from the absence of the integrated GPU and of course, the pricing. And we believe that this will allow a lot more people who wanted to get into the AM5 platform to do so a lot easier since there are a lot of great options for A620 board in the market right now and DDR5's price has been coming down quite a bit since the release of the Ryzen 7000 series of processor. Pair this up with a great mid-range GPU like the RTX 3060 or 3060 Ti and you should have a very capable setup already. And that's exactly what we did for benchmark this time on the Ryzen 5 7500F. We'll be building our 7500F here in an A620M build alongside with a RTX 3060 Ti to see what performance you can expect to get in a setup like this. We'll be going through our usual benchmark to see how a build like this will perform in productivity and gaming. So, let's go!
that was the benchmark result and overall performance is great for the price you'll be paying for. We can see that the Ryzen 5 7500F is able to perform greatly when paired with a mid-range GPU like the 3060 Ti and is even able to game at 4K max settings at certain games. And that was our review and look at the new AMD Ryzen 5 7500F, yet another great addition to the Ryzen 7000 series of family. Who do we think this processor is suited for? Oh, it's very suited for those who want to build a budget focused but capable mid-range PC and want to be using the latest platform from AMD and taking advantage of things such as DDR5, maybe PCIe5 later on and have the options to upgrade to even more things too as this is just the first series of processor of 7000 for the AM5 platform. So I'm sure there's a lot more upgrade path later on if we follow their AM4 history. If you find this video helpful, be sure to share this video out to all your friends and family and give this video a like if you liked it and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!